Hi guys, now that we have created the backend, it's time to test the application. Now there are two ways to test the application. The first way is to directly run this application on a mobile phone in real time. And the second way is to run this on an Android emulator called Genymotion. Now there are all, also built-in Android emulators in Android Studio, but we want, but they are like really, really slow. The inbuilt Android emulators are really, really slow. Therefore, we are going to install something known as Genymotion, which is free for our purposes. And uh, it's really, really quick and really efficient. So to download Genymotion, we are going to open this up and type in Genymotion free. Press enter. We are going to open this. And now we are going to download Genymotion personal edition. Now it's asking us to sign in and we'll have to create an account first and create an account. The sign up process is pretty much easy. You will get an email confirmation. You'll have to click on the link and make sure you remember the e email address and the password because we are going to use it later. Even after signing in over here, will you just remember it? So I've already signed up, so I'm not going to sign in again. I'm just going to enter my username, password. And I've not activated my account. Um, so let me just go ahead and activate it first. And we'll click over here confirm our account and our account has been activated so we'll go back to this go back and we'll enter the password again sign in now there are two options to download Jenny motion and we have also obviously the Mac OS, the Ubuntu, the Linux, but we are going to download it for Windows. Now it requires something known as VirtualBox. So we'll click on download for Windows with VirtualBox. Click on it. I'm not going to download it as I've already downloaded it and installed it on my computer. Installation process is pretty much simple. Just you have to click on next and when there is a checkbox, you have to just check the box and just keep on clicking next until it's installed. After it's installed, you'll get something like after it's inst after it is installed, you will get something like this: Jenny Motion and Jenny Motion Shell. Just double click on Jenny Motion, and it's going to load the plugins and etc. And it's going to show you this screen. Just go to settings and click on sign in, as it's showing as not authenticated. Sign in. Enter your Credentials over here and click on sign in. Now our Jenny motion has been registered and we are ready to add new virtual devices inside it. The next step is to integrate Jenny motion with Android Studio. Right now it's just a standalone application and is not being integrated with Android. To integrate it with Android, we'll go to Android Studio, then we'll go to File. Then we'll go to settings and then on plugins and then there are all the plugins that are different over here and then we'll go to browse repositories and we'll search for something known as journey motion as you can see it's written this plugin allows you to create and start journey motion virtual devices from android studio which is exactly what we want let's click on install it's asking us to restart android studio so let's click on it apply okay restart it's going to be restarted now that our android studio has been restarted you will see a new kind of any kind of icon over here this is the icon of journey motion when you click on it it will open up select the path to journey motion folder if you don't know what the path to journey motion folder is you can always go to the shortcut that is created, click on properties and there is the path of Jenny motion. So let's select the path of Jenny motion over here. We'll go to E and we'll find Jenny motion. I will click OK and apply. 
and OK. Now that we have applied the path to Jenny Motion, we can see this kind of pop up. Now we are ready to add a new virtual device in Jenny Motion. To create a new virtual device in Jenny Motion, we are first going to click this new button. After clicking on this new button, something will pop up and we click on add. It's going to search for available devices and there are a lot of API devices. So we are just going to scroll down and see which one can we pick up. Uh, I'm going to pick up this Nexus 6 API 23 just because I like working on it. You can also pick this or pick any other virtual device, doesn't matter. But I'm going to pick this one and clicking on next. Virtual device name is this. These are the applications and the memory size is 3, 3072 MB, which is basically 3 GB. And then we'll click on next and it's going to download our virtual device from the internet. It's 291 MB, so it's going to take some time. Now it says the virtual device has been created successfully. So we'll click on finish and here you can see our virtual device. Now we'll just close it and we'll test. We'll click on refresh. Now as you can see there's a new virtual device over here. We can close it. After closing it we have to go to this Jenny motion and click select this and click on start. It's going to initialize the virtual device and it's going to take some time. Now that a device has started completely, we can run it, our application on this device. To run our application on the device, we'll click the play button and we'll select the connected devices, Jenny Motion Google Nexus and click on OK. Now that the Gradle build has completed, we can go to our Jenny Motion emulator, open it up and as you can see, our application is running successfully on Jenny Motion. Android device. So this is pretty much it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.